and Lucy Ritchie, also known as Lucy at Amazing 70. I'm Gary the Unicorn, Lucy's boyfriend, and I am also a puppet from the CBC Kids Show, Studio K. And I'm Jason Hopley, I'm Gary's puppeteer. And we came here to tell you that the lie detector test that Andrew was taking was fake. It was? Yes. We have the real evidence right here on the USB drive. But first, we need to go to Andrew's cell to free him. Come on guys, we're going to Andrew's jail cell. We're on it. What? What just happened? I don't know. Andrew was about to get executed and now someone knocked Bob out. Come on now. What do you want? Can you please shut back there? Oh, mind your own business and go back to sleep. Hey, it's you. I'm calling the police right now. Hey, you'll pay for my phone, you idiot. I'm going to tell the guards. Not on my watch. How did you hack inside the cell? I transported to Andrew's cell because I couldn't get in the front door. How do we get him out of there? I think I can try to use light rays on a mirror to aim at the lock. Then it would melt the lock because it's made of brass. Go for it. Wait, there's just one problem. We don't have a mirror or a light strong enough to melt the lock. Don't worry, Alicia. I'll use my painting powers to paint a mirror and a light beam. I'll just the light temperature. Alright, that's good enough. Lizzie and I will make sure that the mirror is adjusted to aim the lock. Look, it's working. Hey Andrew, it's us. Can you hear us? Guys. Lucy, don't worry, we'll get you out of here. Andrew. Lucy. Oh, Andrew. I'm so glad that you're okay. I'm so glad that you're all okay, too. But how did you guys find me? We used Beyond Logic. Anyways, set all of that aside. My name is Lucy Ritchie, also known as Lucy at Amazing 70. Coincidentally, she and I have the same name. Wow. I'm Gary the Unicorn, Lucy's boyfriend, and I am also a puppet from the CBC Kids Show, Studio K. I'm Jason Hobley. I'm the puppeteer of Gary Unicorn. In addition, Joanne and Josephine have already hired them to join us. Basically, the claim of you stealing $82,000 worth of jewelry was a lie, and those people were not real officers, and the examiner wasn't really a polygraph examiner, nor did any of those people have any experience of that lie criminal justice industry. But wait, how did the examiner know that I was not telling the truth? The examiner was a scam, and I know it because according to the results, it shows that you did tell the truth. Right over here, next to the bottom of this sentence. Oh wow! I figured that the examiner was a liar and a scammer. I agree with Zaria. Alright guys, let's head back into the van and head back to Joanne's temporary headquarters. We have the real evidence that was recorded. Here's the first one that Lucy and Gary recorded at the airport back at Ing City. Okay ma'am, I have your results in, and it seems like you have been brainwashed in perfection dust. Um, what is perfection dust? Who would get brainwashed with that? Beats me. Click on the next file. On it. Wait a minute, zoom in on the bottom right corner. I'm guessing that these photos were made in Photoshop. 
If these photos were made in Photoshop, then how come the so-called examiner said that the results showed that Andrew was not telling the truth? The photo looks exactly like him, but it must be someone else pretending to be him. Are you getting somewhere, Andrew? Unfortunately not. This is so confusing. Wait a minute. We were watching Cops Reloaded, and then at one scene, Andrew was getting arrested and Lucy and the others were getting sent to the middle people's home. We heard, and the evidence that was sent to the police was a fake. Apparently, the alien John cut off a picture of Andrew and pasted it on the picture and showed it to the police officer to make it look like Andrew was doing it. No way. What is it, Andrew? You would not believe who's behind all of this mischief. Who was it? What? Andrew. Andrew! We're glad that you're okay. What's going on now? Did you find out who the culprit was? Yes, I did. Who is it? Violet Anderson. What? Man, this headache is way worse than what I felt the other day. Hi officer, what are you doing here? Hello ma'am, is Viley still here? For what? What's going on? Well apparently, a stranger reported that a car has been stolen by someone I don't know who it was, but do you know anything about what happened? No I don't. I instead felt something weird while I was drinking my glass of water. Wait a minute, I better go check on my granddaughter real quick. Feel free to come with me if you'd like. Vili, are you here? Vili, Vili, where are you my granddaughter? Wait a minute. Oh my god. She instead brainwashed me so she and her friends can go to Los Angeles. I better call Emma. How's your breakfast, Jake here? It's good. So what do you want to do next? I don't know. Maybe go to the park. Sounds like a great idea. Hold on a second, Jake. This is your grandma. Hello? Hi, Emma. Oh, good morning, Mum. What's up? Billy snuck out of the house and went to Los Angeles with her friends to cause more trouble, and I don't know why I was feeling weird in the past days. What? Oh my god. I thought I told her to stay at home. I guess she brainwashed your mind. Do not worry about a thing, Mum. We'll find her at once. Thanks for telling us. Bye. Give me a break. What is going on, dear? Viley snuck out of our house and went to Los Angeles along with her friends. Oh my god. What is she doing here in Los Angeles? She was supposed to stay at home. I thought she was gonna behave. Maybe to cause more trouble. Come on guys, we better go find her at once before anything else happens. What are we gonna do now? There's a local dance party for Andrew and his crew that Howard and Sally are hosting. We should plant some nuclear bombs. Oh crap. What is it? My mom found us. What? Come out of their body. We know you're in there. Vali, you can run, but you definitely can't hide. Vali? Vali? Come out, come out wherever you are, big sister. It says that Vali was here. It probably meant another hotel. I could be wrong. Well, let's keep looking. She could be anywhere. That was a close one. I hear you on that one. We need to talk more about the bomb. Because I just remembered that last time when we planted a bomb in our middle school last year, the bomb was noticed and Andrew and his crew deactivated it easily. Then I guess we have to plant the bomb even deeper where Andrew and his friends won't reach the bomb in time. Great idea. Let's do that. Oh no. This can't be good. I got to tell Andrew about this.
I guess not even tech support could figure out what was wrong with the monitor. And not only was the house arrest monitor hacked, but also the security cameras. Are you sure that the house arrest monitor was hacked, Ashley? Yes, I'm sure. There's a possibility that the house arrest could be hacked. Is this the Beyond City Police Department? Yes. Good evening, fellas. My name is Samuel Jenkins, and I'm a criminal investigator. What seems to be the problem? We're having problems on who hacked into the house, arrest monitor, and security cameras. Well, come with me to the meeting room, and I'll show you some research that I've been doing. I've been doing forensic research about the products that were hacked, and basically the computer and the security camera was hacked by an illegal hacking app. Well, I sent you some video evidence on what happened before you came. Okay, I will watch it on my phone. Just as I suspected. So how are we going to make sure that the cameras won't be hacked anymore? No worries, I hired another criminal investigator to install hidden cameras because the security cameras may have been hacked, but the hidden cameras are unhackable. All of the evidence is included in this USB drive. Alright, I will look for the evidence. So which video is it? That one over there. Alright. Now that you all have your normal clothes back on, let's head to my secret house to reveal our plan. What in the world? Some profession doll freed Raven and Risto out of their jail cells. I realize that there is footage of Raven hacking the department store doors from a couple of months ago. I also realized that there were footprints on Raven and Risto's cell. So they escaped. I'm declaring a state of national emergency. Leave for all military personnel is cancelled until those troublemakers are found. I've just located them. They have escaped and they're at Los Angeles along with Bailey, Zahari, Boris, the Teeth Guy, Bay Forest, TJ, and GoFat. And we must have bailed them out. And Raven must have hacked into the system to hack the house arrest bracelets. You're absolutely right. But how are you going to get to Los Angeles to stop them? We have something that will get us to Los Angeles faster. The oh wow. We're, We're on it. it. Alright guys, here how I think we would set up the decorations for the party while Howard and Sally pick up the food. Okay, what is it? Guys, 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 I have something to tell you all. We're busy right now, you can tell us later. But it's an emergency. I said not now. Come on guys, I need your help. We're trying to talk right now. No interruptions. But guys, it's extremely urgent. This is no time to interrupt. This is a perfect time to interrupt. Viley and her crew are- Tell us later! Guys, we have a big problem. What's wrong? Well, you will be even scared when I tell you this, but... Miley and her friends are gonna plant a bomb deeper under the ground to blow up this party. What? what? Oh no. Did you tell Andrew about this? Yes. Well, I tried to, but he said he's too busy and didn't listen. Okay, while we go to the temporary headquarters and tell Joanne about this, you text Maddie and the ugly dolls to give him a FaceTime call about what you observed. Okay, I'll be ready. Okay, I think that's deep enough. Okay, I'll give you the bomb so you can place it there gently, otherwise it will explode automatically. Here you go. Thanks.
Okay, it's in place.